Hi there. In this video, we are going to learn how can we implement retry into Postman. As a tester, we all understand how important this retry is. We can't raise bug, you know, just by executing it once and saying that hey, it is not working. So before raising any bug, we ensure that you know we we test it multiple times that this is really failing and it is not because of you know any network glitch or you know momentarily problems so retry is very important right and we are going to implement that into postman and this is a code but let's see let's uh, move to postman and write this up okay so i've removed that uh, from this request and we are going to write it up from scratch okay so before we start writing that let's understand this so what would be the logic right so you're going to send this request once okay and then you will take care of okay so i have sent this once right so there'll be a variable which is going to store this value when you send it for the second time that val value of the variable would be updated to two okay third time it was would be updated to three so in this case we are going to run this request three times right and we are not going to request for the fourth time because we are implementing this logic to run this request for three times okay so then the other thing that we have to understand is now when you are into the test section means that you have already sent the request once okay so therefore we have to initialize a variable to start with one okay so you initialize it with one to start with and then what we are going to do so we're going to check if count is less than three okay <clears throat> then i'm going to do something okay so what is that i said we have to increment that by one so that's going to be one step okay then we have to keep track of this variable right this is a local variable every time you run a request it will be created again and reinitialized to one so therefore i have to take it to the environment variable so how can i do though do that pm dot environment dot set and in set we have to provide two things name of the variable and the value of the variables the value would be this count simple then what are we going to do if it is less than three we are going to send the request again and for that we use set next request already covered that in one of the video click on yeah so this is it now our if block is ready what are we going to do after three counts okay so the three iterations what i'm going to do is i'm going to post pm dot environment dot unset okay and it's going to be this i'm going to unset this variable okay and there's one more thing that i'm going to do so i'll be first reading it from the because see i'm setting it up here so to start with i'm going to say pm dot environment dot get the value okay get the value of the variable one right but for the first time this variable would not be there okay so then what we are going to do is if no such variable is found okay then initialize that to one it's the only change that we have to make okay and before you start that make sure that you don't have any variable in your environment with this name count so in our case it is three so let's delete that so there is a variable already with this name so i'm going to delete that update it was that let me check it's deleted so no such variable exists now okay i think we are all set uh, let's save everything go to the collection runner click on run right so we have a dependency on an environment right so we have to pick any environment let's pick qa and click on retry logic and you see 
our request has been executed three times <coughs> okay so now depending upon your requirement you can extend this further so what we are doing here is we are only checking uh, that the count is less than three okay but you can add your logic in here all right uh, for example based on some value you want to make the v attempts right the moment you get the value you don't want to execute it any further and how can you make sure that you end the execution so you use the postman dot send next request so here let's say that the moment that particular uh, requirement is achieved uh, and let's say you want to execute the next request so you're going to provide the name of that request okay so that's what you are going to do let's say you want to terminate the complete execution let's say if if you encounter a situation after which you don't want to execute anything right so then what you are going to do is then you are going to instruct postman to send the next request to null and that is going to end the the collection execution okay then and there itself <coughs> all right so this is about the retry logic uh, hope you like this thank you so much thanks for watching